morning. I'm on my way to Oslo with Cisco. I'm going for work. With work, it's a press trip. So we've invited some journalists, people in the press to see some cool innovations in Norway. And it's my first time ever going. Um, and it's a very quick trip. But I'm gonna take you along with me and yeah, hopefully it's fun. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I am obsessed with this jumpsuit. It is from ASOS, always repping. I'm just gonna call my Uber now and we'll get moving. See you soon. I got into my Uber, my Uber asked me to cancel because he didn't want to go to the airport. Um, no, I'm not going to give you money because you don't want to go there. So I made him cancel and now I'm waiting for another Uber. Off to a good start. Uber attempt two, let's go. <laughs> Security was a breeze, um, which is rare, um, but I guess because I'm traveling alone, they just wanted to get all the single travelers through as quickly as possible. I'm currently in duty free and the prices are very tempting, honestly, but I, I am here for work. So maybe on the way back, I'll get like a few cheeky bottles for Christmas. These prices are so crazily good. My partner really loves rum, so I think I'm on my way back, I'm gonna get him a present, a few bottles. He's gonna watch this, so it's annoying he's gonna know, but he doesn't know what I'm gonna buy, so there's a surprise. Not gonna lie, it does feel weird not getting a glass of Prosecco. Oh well, I settled for a cranberry juice and I got some scrambled eggs with smoked salmon on brown toast. I'm not really a breakfast person, but it was good. I'm just waiting for my gate to open. Um, I'm just sat in a cafe in Terminal 1, thinking about flying. This is the third time I've um, flown by myself, so a little bit nervous but um i'm sure i'll be fine hopefully the people i'm sat next to will be okay i do wonder like who else will be going to oslo on a monday morning with me like i'm just so curious about who's leaving manchester to go there anyway hello made it to the gate um i think we'll start boarding relatively soon and yeah We uh, came out of uh, Oslo a little bit late as we had to de the aircraft, that took 20 minutes. Just waiting to take off now, um, I'm on the plane, obviously. It's really nice weather in Manchester, so a little sad to be leaving because I'm heading to one degree Oslo, um, but I'm still really excited. I've queued up all my music that I want to listen to and maybe I'll get a snack when we're in the air. I probably, I will, we know, we know I will. We've made it, we're in Oslo. We're in the toilets. I was literally holding in a wee from Manchester. I haven't seen anything. I've only seen the airport. I'm gonna go and find um, a taxi or order an Uber and get moving so I can check in because it's getting late, I'm getting hungry, I wanna change, I wanna freshen up, all that stuff. It's so cool, they have these screens where you can book your taxi. So I just booked one to the hotel I'm staying at and it said it should be about three minutes. So we'll see, hopefully it is because I am tired. Traveling is so exhausting, my goodness. We made it! <laughs> On our way to the room, we're all gonna see it together, live in the flesh. I'm so tired. <laughs> Dump my stuff unceremoniously there. Mirror! And this is the room. Nice double. Coffee machine, giant TV. A nice chair to recline in. Artwork. <laughs> and a look at the view! That's a crazy view. Look at all these buildings. 
I might be ruining it with my, look how cool. Okay, and then, oh, nice fitting. And then this is the bathroom. I don't know how to. Oh my God. Look. And then you have all these little minis. A bath. Hello. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna maybe call reception and see what the deal is with the pool. Got my phone charging because it was getting close to the wire. I'm just sat on my cozy hotel bed. I'm gonna research a few places to go for dinner. I'm gonna call and check about the pool because I am tempted to go for a little swim. Oh, oh my gosh. I do love traveling, but like, you know, it's tiring. All that stuff. Do you like my nails? They're like cute from a distance because I did them myself. I need to book my nail tech. Um, she's amazing in Manchester. And I will shout out to Studio Saku. Keeping my nails looking good, except not this, but I love the color. It's very festive. I might get something similar done with her. You already know what time it is. Back in my signature ASOS swimsuit. There's a rooftop pool here, so I'm gonna go for a little swim. I feel like this swimsuit is so tired of being wheeled out. It's on its last legs. So like the, like. <laughs> but anyway, we move. I'm super hungry. All I've eaten today, which you saw, was that bit of toast with scrambled eggs and smoked salmon, and I didn't even really eat the scrambled eggs. So yeah, I mean, after the swim, I'm gonna feel a bit rejuvenate. I'm gonna feel, oh my gosh. I'm hoping to feel rejuvenated after this swim and a little bit of a sauna. Um, got these little Primark clips to accessorize with um, to keep my hair up and out the way. I'm not gonna show you the full, like, let's go, let's go, let's go, I'm done, let's go. This has a lot. What's that? Okay, lol. <laughs> it didn't last very long there, but there was a child literally screaming bloody murder who didn't want to be there, and her mum was just leaving her there. I literally sat on the steps, it was so weird and awkward, and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get ready for dinner. I feel like the trek up to the pool counts as some sort of fitness. So we achieved what we wanted to, kind of. Okay, that flopped, but maybe it's worth doing like a quick sauna. Um, um, there's no light in the sauna, which is a choice. You know what? I don't want a Final Destination style unalive. So let's go get ready for dinner. And here's the finished look. It's very simple. Like you might be like, mm, there's not really a difference, which is fine. Um, I just put on some mascara, some freckles, faux freckles, um, and did a little like bold, colorful highlight in the corner. I don't want to do anything too avant-garde just because I'm just going out for dinner by myself. So yeah, let's find somewhere to eat. I feel like the lighting by where I was doing my makeup was really unforgiving, but here's the finished look again. Um, so you could actually see that I put makeup on because in there I looked um, not hideous, but not cute. So here's the look. Oh, I'm feeling my oat. I'm gonna go find somewhere to have dinner. And yeah, I'm excited for a cute evening by myself in the city of Asa. Honestly, traveling alone is can be a bit scary, but um, yeah. If you plan, like me, I'm a planner, you can have fun. Okay, dinner, let's go, let's go. On our way to dinner, don't know where I'm going. Why am I singing? I'm really excited to eat. So I did a little Google search um, and I was really in the mood for Japanese food. I found this restaurant called Koei Ramen, sorry if I'm mispronouncing, and it just looked right up my street. As I said earlier in the video, it's really cold in Oslo, so I wanted something warm in, and a big bowl of soupy noodles was right up my street. I got the Karaj chicken that came with the Japanese mayo. Um, please excuse my chopstick technique, 
I am no expert, but you know, a girl tried. Um, the chicken was really good. It was very herby, which I wasn't expecting. And I got the tonkotsu ramen, you know, standard. The broth was really flavorful. It was really delicious. Um, and that with the chicken and I had kimchi as well. It was amazing. It was really good. Dinner was so good. It was so cute in there. Um, I didn't really film much because it was a bit awkward filming. Um, there's like a cute little bar here, so I'm gonna go and have one drink and then yeah, head back. It's really peaceful in town. It's very chill. I'm loving it. So I'm here at the bar now. They do mezcal cocktails, which are like my favorite. It's like sort of like tequila, but not quite. <laughs> This bar was such a vibe. I absolutely loved the decor and I went for their signature cocktail, Naked and Famous. Cheers! Mm. Oh my God. Damn, I wish I didn't have work tomorrow because I would easily drink 10 of those. I just walked back from the bar and I'm feeling very tired and very full. Dinner was so nice, so filling. I didn't finish it. Um which is not meant to be any sort of brag. I literally ate all I could squeeze in to these control top tights. But my sweet belly is waking up now. And there's a restaurant on the top, like the top of the hotel. So I might go up and ask if I can just get dessert. Do you think they'll judge me? I don't care. Late night dessert, why not? They might be like, is she okay? I am okay. I just want dessert. So apparently I can't get to the restaurant. So I'm gonna go down to the ground floor and then see if there's a different lift I get up. Oh, I'm getting this pudding. Whether it's the last thing or do. Okay, I asked someone and the restaurant's closed today. The most important thing is that I got a dessert. Don't, doesn't matter how, doesn't, doesn't matter where, you know where. Classic. Okay, I'm going to head to bed now. Um, I have an early start tomorrow. Um, I'm going to meet everyone on the press trip and film lots of content. So it's going to be a jam-packed day. Um, oh. 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 See ya. <coughs> morning. Um, it is Tuesday morning and we have a jam-packed schedule today. I'm going to meet the rest of the press trip and... We're going to head to some cool spaces in Oslo, um, all Cisco orientated, of course. I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to film lots of content. Um, and yeah, just have a really informative, innovative day. Um, I'll show you my outfit one sec. Hello, this is my wearing crop jumper from Lazy Oaf, collusion bodycon. Um, I'm a bit bloated, but I'm always bloated. I literally think about food and I bloat, so I, I'm not gonna care. Here we go. Got all my equipment with me to film stuff during the day. Let's see. Time for a blue light on black skin moment. I look amazing. We're at our first stop of the day, Rebel. It can be scary meeting a group of new people, but I was really excited about this press trip. It was really cool being in the Rebel building. It's like the coolest co-working space I've ever entered. Honestly, so cool. There's a DeLorean in the building. We learned a lot from the chief Rebel, Peter Jetzel. Here I am just soaking in all the knowledge about Rebel and running down to get up close and personal with the DeLorean. I mean, how cool is that? Um, and yeah, obviously had to get content for socials. <laughs> and then we went on a tour of Rebel Oslo fully to see all the cool quirky meeting rooms and just interesting things about the building. I just absolutely love this part. It just shows what's possible in the world of work today. Is this, is this a plan? <gasps> oh my 
Oh my gosh, I think this is a living wall. Oh! You didn't see me break any. It's so cool. This is my office now. <laughs> Bye everyone. It's so cool. So this is my new office, everyone. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll show it. No, so, this, is the <laughs> this is new industry. <laughs> Look at the lighting belt. It's for Bowie. All right. They even had a meeting room based on Doctor Who. And yes, I can confirm it's bigger on the inside. Look at this giant Lego wall. So cool. Okay, I gotta go. Today has been so cool already. <laughs> and then we finished off by heading into that really cool bar area with loads of games. I'm so jealous. Can I work here, Cisco, please? I wish I could work here. <laughs> In the building, not change my job. We're on our way to the um, Cisco Oslo office and it's funny because it's my first time ever going into a Cisco office because I've just been working from home in Manchester so I'm pretty excited. We've arrived at Cisco! A nice little break to decompress, have a coffee, get to know each other. We had a few sessions but I didn't record in there for this. And now we're in the canteen and it's lunchtime and there are lots of delicious options. I'm super indecisive, so it was so hard trying to pick what to have for lunch. Ugh. We're having lunch now, and I'm using the mic because it's set up, so might as well. Um, there are a few options. There's hot food, there's salad. Everyone's going into these demos with holograms that I can't show you, but it looks really cool, and I'm jealous that I'm not in there now. I went for a chicken Caesar wrap because, I mean, handheld, easy, yummy. It was, you know, it was just what I needed. Got some fruit, got some juice, and it was really good. It was this moment in time that my colleague told me to live in the moment because I kept filming myself. Hello, this is me living in the moment. I'm hoping I can get into the hologram room, but if I don't, I guess it's not the end of the world. Um, I just really love a VR headset or a headset. I don't know why, because it all flattened my hair. Um, yeah, I've got stuff to do now. I had to make a few short form videos while on the trip um, that I had written and scripted while interviewing some of the people on the press trip, which was a little scary, but I really loved being in front of the camera. So it was really fun being able to ideate and create something that I'm really passionate about. Okay, she made it in and oh my gosh, look how cute I am. Whoa. <laughs> my little whoa. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, obsessed with this. I want one in my house. Okay. So one of my tasks was to film a video with an exec and they kind of wanted this green screen room. So I had to like practice in it a little bit first. Hello world, it's I, Munat Abdul. And world domination shall soon be mine. <laughs> so cool, I want a green screen in my house. <gasps> As fun as the green screen room was, I wanted something a bit more natural for social. So I opted for this setup, really nice with the fireplace. Is okay? Just testing my shot again. I feel like it looks good. Yeah, I think it's popping. Snick break. That's really good. And that's a wrap on the office stuff. I'm going back to the hotel to freshen up and start editing some content while it's fresh in my mind. And yeah, let's go, I'm tired. <laughs> Another blue light on black skin moment. <gasps> we did it, we've done today. That was so jam packed, but so busy. Um, yeah, and yeah, wait, wait one sec. Cheers to me, okay? I filmed about six videos all at the same time. Lots of like notes down for like posts and content. I've just got, uh, this is gonna be a massive project, a massive undertaking when it comes to editing. I think what I'm gonna do after I've had a few more little sips of wine is start editing some of the short form videos just while they're fresh in my mind. So it's like quick and easy to bang out. Um, I had so much fun today. Like it was so cool getting to hang out with journalists and obviously I used to be one. So it was um, kind of nice being sort of on the other side but just like a content side um everyone seemed to have a great day so that's awesome 
tonight well my original plan was just to find somewhere to go for dinner again and have like a meal by myself <laughs> which we we did yesterday but some of the people from today want to go out for dinner and like a walk around also a little bit so i'm gonna meet up with them in about an hour yeah and have a dinner have a walk around and it'll be nice to experience also with like people also experiencing Oslo. Excuse me. So, um, I'll see you there and uh, let's go. <laughs> it's the, that one sip of wine, I'm like. <sighs> British people. I'm talking about myself here. Okay, bye. Huh? Oh my gosh, my makeup table. It's so messy, let's not focus on that. Hello, it's me. I'm the problem, it's me. No, um, well, yeah. So I'm going out for dinner now. I topped up my makeup. Um, I don't love it. My skin looks so greasy. I don't have all the makeup I normally would have, so it's not good. But we'll move past that. Going out, I'm not taking a coat. Is that crazy? I'm taking a big scarf and a hat and gloves. It's one degrees. I'm committing, because my coat is like, too warm always and i run warm constantly and we'll be walking around um and if i'm cold it's my own problem so <laughs> makeup table okay let's go let's go let's go i'm so hungry as well yoink yeah hello trying to find the best lighting we've walked to the opera house which is not very far from our hotel it's really pretty everything's all lit up um it's really cute out here there's a lovely bridge with lights. There's some like a little Christmas market thing over there across the water. And yeah, we're just gonna have a little walk and then find somewhere to eat because a girl is hungry. I'm being totally rinsed for my content. Totally rinsed. We found a cute restaurant to have dinner in. It was a really long, cold walk, but we've made it. And it's so nice in here. The menu looks really good. I can't wait to order. I don't know what I'm going to get, but it's going to be huge. I got a paprika chicken that didn't look very paprika -y and fries and it had some bulgur wheat and some salad. It was, it was good. It was what I needed in that moment in time and you can't say no to fries now, can you? Dinner was good. And now I guess we're gonna go back to the hotel, which you can see that, 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 the Radisson, <laughs> that's the hotel. You just watch the football. <gasps> There's like a fireplace, it's so cool. Um, I mean, I'm merry. I just watched the football. It was very good. Go on England, feeling patriotic. We are gonna go to the roof. Apparently, things are happening up there. Let's go. <laughs> We're at the rooftop bar called The Top. It's really nice in here, like really nice. Um, I'm just chilling with my glass of vino and then heading back to my room. Morning, it's 8 a.m. I'm back in my traveling outfit. I'm leaving now so I can get to the airport in good time. Um, I'm gonna try and get the train this time around. Everyone I met this couple of days said it was like way faster than getting an Uber, so I'm gonna try that. I've already booked my train ticket. Now I just need to rush to the station. My train is in about 20-ish minutes, so I need to go. Um, doing one last whip round of the room to see that I have everything packed. Um, I really hope I do, because I need to get moving right now. Um, but yeah, come along with me. I'm back in the jumpsuit. Um, this has been so fun, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog so far. But we've got a train to catch. Let's go. Oh, that wind did a number on me. 
The next train to the airport is on platform 10, so I'm gonna walk down there now. And I guess in terms of food, I'll eat at the airport. And on down the track. Why do I keep singing? On my way to the train. <laughs> this is very 8am vibes. I look so tired. Okay. On the platform. We all know what a train platform looks like. I don't know why I'm verbalizing. <laughs> the airport um, in one piece thankfully I did buy the wrong train ticket so I had to buy another one when I got to the airport but worst things have happened um my gate is like a couple of minutes that way so I'm just having a little chill I've got a panini and an apple juice drink and I'm tired and I'm ready to fly home I wish I knew